Alright, Shalawam, Shalawam, it's your brother Wild Rumya. Got my son, my buns with me. Tazawan. Tazawan. Zahar. Zahar. I'm gonna start this lesson on the camp. The lesson. I'm gonna face the east. We give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Mahara Kakadash. Baraka Tay Yahweh, Baraka Tay Yahweh Shah. Baraka Tay Yahweh, Baraka Tay Yahweh Shah. Baraka Tay Yahweh, Baraka Tay Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us his truth. And shalom to you, Akim and Akwa, that believe and have faith in you have by Shemi Shah. Praying to be a part of that hopeful elect. We come out today to preach repentance to our people, the blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. You too may be a part of the hopeful elect, and that we'll be taking out of this destruction that's coming to Babylon the Great and from the vengeance of the Lord, man. Just, just praying to be a part of that hopeful elect. We're going to start off um, with the book of um, Psalms. Let's get Psalms. Uh, Psalms 94, start at verse 1, read down, down to 7. And you can get Job 20, 4 and 5. Because the vengeance of the Lord is what's coming to, to the earth, man. And it's going to be all in the four corners of the earth, man. The angels are holding destruction back until the elect are sealed, man. Let's go with uh, Psalms 94, start at verse 1. We're going to read down to 7. When you get it, go ahead. Psalms 94 verse 1 and it says, O Yahweh Shah Most High, to whom vengeance belongeth. To whom vengeance belongeth. So Yahweh Shah, the vengeance belongs to him, man. And that's what the Lord wants us to do. We, he don't want us to take vengeance. He want he, he want to take vengeance, man. He wants us to sit back and prophesy his return because the vengeance belongs to him, man. And the Lord has to get his vengeance on his enemies, man, as well as we want our, our enemies, the vengeance on our enemies, man. The Lord is going to get vengeance on his enemies, man. Go ahead. O power, to whom vengeance belongeth, uh -huh. show thyself. Show thyself. So the Lord is going to show his, his vengeance on this place, man. Especially on Esau Edom, man. He's going to show his vengeance on them. Go ahead. Yo, but see now, shall how long shall the wicked, how long? See that? How long shall the wicked prosper and glorify themselves, man? Because they're going to they be broke down violently, man. The Lord is going to take Esau eat them down violently. Go ahead. How long shall the wicked triumph? See, how long shall the wicked triumph? And we know the the, uh, the wickedness of the um, the wickedness of the of the Esau uh, of Esau eat them in these uh, uh, a heathen is only a triumph is only for a, a, a moment, man. It's not for a long period of time. It's just for a moment, man. Esau was only given two days to rule, man. That was his blessing, a sword in two days. That's all he was given, man. Before the Lord brings him down. Go, keep going. How long shall they utter and speak hard things? See that? How they utter and speak hard things, man. The media controls everything. They control what goes on the airways and what comes out of the airways, even all on the internet, man. They put up false information for you to believe or think it, and then all the whole time they've been behind it, man. So Esau has to be taken down, man. Because all the wickedness of the earth stems from him, man. This is his kingdom. This is his rulership. And this is how he this is how he chose to run it, man. In pure wickedness. Go ahead. And all the workers of iniquity Speak boast up so they can hear you now. And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. See, all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. Go ahead. They break in pieces thy people, O Yahweh, and afflict thine heritage. See, they afflict the children of Israel, man. They break in pieces of his people and they afflict his people, man. So the Lord is coming back for vengeance for that, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. They slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless. See, they murdered the fatherless, man. And you can see that, man, they're going on through the earth since, since, since we came over in captivity, man. They've been doing this, man. Go ahead. Yeah, they say, Yehobah Shah shall not see Neither shall the power of Jacob guard it. See that? So they don't think the Lord is seeing what they're doing, man. The Lord is piling up their iniquities on them for their violence, man. For the violence is coming to them, man. So they can't say, well, we didn't, we didn't do this and we didn't do that. No, the Lord is piling up all their iniquities for their judgment. Let's get that Job 4 and 5. 20, 20, 4 and 5. This is Job 24 and 5. Knowest thou not his... Uh, this is of old, since man was placed unto earth, that the triumph of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hip hypocrite 
for a moment. But for a moment. See that? So they, they only got a shorter period of time to rule, man. They only got a shorter period of time to rule, and they're going to be taken down, man. They're going to be chased out of the world, man. Is that it? This is uh, Psalms 44, and I'm going to start at verse 5. It says, through thee will we push down our enemies, man. Through the Lord, we're going to push down our enemies. We're going to push them down continually until the Lord returns. Just through his word, man. It says, through thee will we push down our enemies through thy name. So that name is very important, man. The name of the Lord is very important, man. That's how we're pushing down our enemies, man. That's how the Lord is bringing down Esau, Edom, and his kingdom, man. Through his name. So the name is very important, man. Not the most high Christ blessed. Not a high Shia. Not Allah. None of those names, man. Through the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. That's how he's going to be taken down, man. It says, we'll read that again. Psalms 44 and 5, it says, Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under, under that rise up against us, man. Just by the name, man. And that's how we came into this truth. Just by the name, man. Just by the word. And the Lord is the word, man. It says, For I will trust. So like it says, for I will not trust in my bow. So it, the Lord didn't tell us to go get guns and weapons and do, do all this different shit, man. The Lord told us to believe in his name, man. So people are, oh, we got to get this, we got to get that. Man, they bringing these people up here. They bringing this, this up here. And that, that, that ain't got nothing to do with us, man. We can't control what Esau does in his kingdom, but we can control what we do and how we believe and have our faith in. So the Lord don't tell us not to get no bow, no weapons. He didn't tell us to go get weapons. If you have one, it's not wicked to have one, but through faith, that's how we're going to be saved, man. Through faith. It says, for, for I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. See that? So if you got a bow, you, you got a weapon, it's not going to save you, man. You believe in your weapons, man. That's how Esau believes. So you don't need them, man. So you go out, you know what I'm saying? Oh, help, Jacob's trouble breaking loose. And you think, well, I got this nine, I got this AK or whatever. You believe in it, man. That's the reason why the Lord didn't want us to have weapons and this time is coming, man. It's all going to be based on faith. It's all going to be based on faith, man. So it, it don't matter if you got a weapon, man. The Lord ain't going to save you because you got an AK and you got this and got that. No, no the Lord going to save you because you believe and have faith in him, man, through his word, man. So we don't supposed to trust in weapons. And that's beautiful that the Lord say, don't not eat your, your bow is not going to save you, man. Verse 6 again, it says, For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. But thou hast saved us from our enemies. See that? He's saving us now through our enemies just by believing on the word, man. He's putting a hands of protection because he's having the angels guide us in that time that we're going to need them, man. So we ain't going to be, we, 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 we're worried about a weapon and you're, you're going to jam up on you, man. You'll run out of bullets, man. He saw blessing as a sword, man. So he's stockpiled and has all these weaponry and shit, tanks and all, man, all manner of all manner of different things, man. But that ain't for us, man. I, 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 our weapon is this right here, the scriptures, man. Our faith, that's our weapon. He says, but thou hast saved us from our enemies and has put them to shame that hate us. So the Lord is going to put those to shame that hate the children of Israel, man. You blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, that's on his sign, man. The Lord is going to put them to shame, man. So it's, it's, it's best you return to your house by Shimei Shai, man. Because the Lord's word is, is perfect, man, in every way. Verse 8, it says, Psalm 44 8, it says, In power we, in power we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever, Salah. So we boast in the name and power of by Shimei Shai in these scriptures, man. This is our protection. This word is all we need, man. Hold, hold it fast, man, because the Lord is going to do a great work for, for the children of Israel, man. Uh, you get uh, Ezekiel 25 and uh, 12 through 14, and then drop that, you get the drop that of 17, and you get uh, Proverbs, but no, you get Luke 21 and 22. Well, you got to go ahead. You get, um, I got Ezekiel 25, 12 through 14. And then when you get through a 14, drop down to verse 17. Right. When you get it, go ahead. And you get uh, Luke, Luke 21, 22. All right, this is equal 25, verse 12, and it says, Does say of Yehabashim Yahushah, most high, because of that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance 
and had... Yeah, see, Edom has taken vengeance upon us, man. So the Lord is going to take vengeance upon him. And has greatly offended... So he has greatly offended, get Obadiah 1, 1 and 10. And then you go back to uh, Luke. Go ahead. And revenged himself upon them. See, he avenged himself upon us, man. So he didn't show no mercy to us. He took vengeance upon us. Go ahead. Therefore, thus saith the Habash me of Shamos High, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. See that? The Lord is going to stretch out his hand upon Edom. Obadiah 1. 1, 8, 1 and 10. Yeah. And will cut off man and beast from it. See that? He's going to cut off man and beast from Edom, man. So he's going to destroy everything they possess, everything they had, man. It's going to come down. Go ahead. And I will it, I will make a desolate from Teeman. See that? He want to make it desolate from Teeman. They talking about them Germans are Teeman, man. Teeman. That's all part of the tribes of Edom, man. Just like our tribes, you got Amalek, uh, Teeman. Uh, shit, I can't name all of them off the top of my head. But those are just tribes of, uh, of, of Esau, man. The Edomites. Go ahead. And they... They ain't that loud over here. And they of Edom, they of Edom, uh, shall fall by the sword. See that? And they shall fall by the sword, man. So Esau, Edom, and his tribes are gonna fall by the sword, man. They're gonna be taken down violently, man. Thus said Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. That's the scripture. Go ahead. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. See that? He's able to lay his vengeance upon Edom, man. And that's what we're going into, man. The vengeance of the Lord. Go ahead. By the hand of my people Israel. See that? He's gonna lay the vengeance of, of, of the Lord on Edom by his people, man. So he built us up through the spirit. Because we're gonna turn it, but we're gonna turn, we now we are fishers, but we're gonna be turned into hunters in that day very soon, man, because the Lord is gonna put the vengeance of Esau uh, of, 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 of the children of Israel on Esau Edom, man. So like uh he's gonna put the vengeance of Esau Edom on them by his people israel man and they shall do in edom according to my anger see that they're going to do in edom according to my anger go ahead and according to my fury Woo! and they shall know my vengeance say the habashim yabashim 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 most high god so they're going to know the vengeance of the lord by the hand of his people man they're going to know it man and they're knowing it now because they see that things are spiraling out of control very fast man as this war is being built up in the Middle East, <coughs> it's gonna come on Babylon the Great, man. This place will be touching World War III. Is that it? No. Go ahead. Verse 17, and it says, and I will execute great vengeance upon them uh -huh. with furious rebukes. With furious rebukes. See, the Lord is gonna lay vengeance upon these people with furious rebukes, man. And we have not experienced the fury of the Lord in, in this lifetime, man. So the Lord is going to show his fury upon these people very soon. Go ahead. And they shall know that I am your help by Shemiah See that? They're going to know the Lord then. It ain't going to be no Jesus loves everybody. It ain't gonna be, in that day, the Lord going to show his vengeance, man. They're going to know it's a power that's not of this earth, man. It's not. They're going to say it's a so-called white man. It's Jesus. And he loves everybody, man. The day is coming. They're going to know it's a fierce so-called black man from the tribe of Judah that's coming back with his vengeance, man. Go ahead. When I shall lay my vengeance upon them. See, when the Lord lay his vengeance upon these people, you're going to know that, man. You're going to notice that it's like we are here just on the highways and byways prophesying this is for the hell of it, man. We're telling you exactly what the Lord is going to do, man. And it's a beautiful thing that the Lord is going to do this, man, because these people deserve exactly what the Lord says is going to happen to them. Go ahead. Get the Obadiah 1, 110. This is Obadiah 1, verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob shall shame shall cover thee. See that? For that violence against us, the shame of the Lord is not, a, not the shame of the Lord, the shame of their selves are gonna, is going to cover them, man. So they're, they're going to they're gonna wish they never did what they did, but it's too late, man. Their iniquities have been built up, and they haven't repented from their sins, man. And they can't repent because the Lord has this slated for their destruction to happen, man, because of what they did to the children of Israel. Go ahead. And thou shalt be cut off forever. See that? They're going to be cut off forever, man. Drop down to verse 18 on there, Obadiah 118. They're going to be cut off forever for what they did, the violence against us, man. And this is Obadiah 1, verse 18. Uh -huh. And the house of Jacob shall be as a fire. Uh -huh. The house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of jo jo Joseph, uh, Joseph a, flame. a flame. The northern and southern kingdom, you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, make up the 12 tribes. 
in the house of Esau uh -huh. for Sutter. For, for stubble. stubble. Yeah, for stubble. So they're going to be they're gonna be kindled in this fire, man. They're going to be kindled in this fire that the Lord is going to bring, man. And they that's shall kindle in them and be de devoured. Devour, and devoured, huh? Devoured them. And you should devour them. Kind. Let me just like, let me read that over again. Go ahead. Uh, and Esau in the stubble, and they shall kindle in them and be and devour them. Uh -huh. And thou and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. So you got any remaining from the house of Esau, man. And that's after a thousand years and the after they built the kingdom of heaven a thousand years. But we know that the end is gonna be utterly wasted, man. They're gonna be taken out of the earth. They're gonna be chased out of the earth, boy. For your how about Shuna and Shai have speaking it? Yep. So the Lord has spoken. This is this is, this is rich spoken. So the Lord has wrote and spoken this thing to happen. So this is going to happen, man. There's no shadow. There's no doubt about it. This is uh this is uh Jeremiah. You got that Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah. I can read this whole thing, but I'm, I'm just going to get the point. This is uh, Jeremiah 50 and verse 12. It says, Your mother shall be sore confounded that bear thee, that bear, bear you shall be ashamed. And that's talking about Great Britain because <clears throat> America came out of Great Britain, man. They came over to establish this as, as colonies and shit, man. That's what they call colonizers through, um, uh, what's the devil? Uh, um, Christopher Columbus, man. They came over here and uh, signed all these agreements with the Native Americans, and they, and they basically lied about everything, man. So the mother of, of, of America is Great Britain, man. It says, Behold, the hindermost part, the hindermost of the nation shall be a wilderness, and a, uh, a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Because of the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate, Everyone that go, that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all the all her plagues. So what the Lord is going to do to Babylon the Great is utterly wasted, man. He's going to utterly waste us, man. That's how Esau gonna have a double destruction, man, because he's going to be destroyed in his land, over in the uh, over in the uh, the uh, the small Hatter's land, Europe, and all those places going to be touched, man. Not saying everything gonna be destroyed, but these places going to be touched. A lot of Edomites gonna be be utterly wasted, man. It says um, Jeremiah 50 and verse 14. It says, "Put yourselves in array against Babylon around about. All ye that have been the bow, shoot at her. Spread no arrows, for she hath sinned against Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man. So Babylon the Great has has produced so much wickedness." It went all the way to the heavens, man. Everything they've done, if it'll be judged on it. The alphabet community, uh, rape, rob, and murder the children of Israel. Uh, shit, uh, shit, fucking up the air, fucking up the food, the water, destroying the animals, spearmen on the animals. All this is going to come on them, man. And this right here, the hub of wickedness, man. Babylon the Great, man. As we know, is America, man. The Lord is going to judge this place violently. It says... And that's why the Lord is putting this thing, uh, these these nations in array against Babylon the Great, man. And they're going to be taken in a, in a in an hour, man. Verse um, fifteen it says, "Shout shout against her round about. She have given her hand. Her foundations are fallen. See that the foundations of Babylon has fallen, man. They have no covering. Give Ezekiel thirty eight, and I'm going to tell you to go to once I finish this. It, 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 uh, they, uh, the foundations." It's falling, man. As you see, the border's wide open, man. People just coming through there like it ain't shit, man. All these different nations, and they set it all up like that, man. See, the, see the, the wicked of Esau, Edom think he's in control of what's happening in the earth, man. The Lord is, 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 has Satan moving on the left-hand side, making them make these moves. But the Lord is in control of all of it, man. It's like we've seen the chariots come over uh, uh, over the Middle East. I got to say the Middle East, man. You said the small hatter's land. Cause they flagging your videos for every little thing, man. But you need, you know what I mean by the small hat, small hats. Their land where they located at, three chariots appeared over that land, man. 
So the Lord is making these moves, man. Esau Edom is not doing anything but doing what the Lord has him to do on the left-hand side, man. Building up his iniquity for his judgment to come. It says, verse 15 again, Jeremiah 50 and verse 15, it says, Shout against her around about. She have given her hand. Her foundations are falling. Her walls are thrown down. See that? The borders are wide open, man. The walls are thrown down. The borders are wide open, man. It says, For it is the vengeance of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. This is, this is plain, man. The Lord has all these nations coming over to Babylon the Great, man. For the Lord's vengeance, man. This is the Lord's vengeance that we're going into, man. It says, Take vengeance upon her. She have done, uh, she said, Take vengeance upon her as she has done, do unto her. So all these nations are going to get payback on Esau Edom, man. All these nations are going to get payback on them, man. And they don't have a clue this payback is coming. Remind me of that song, James Brown, The Big Payback, man. It's a beautiful song, man. I always I like playing that. The Big Payback. That's what's coming, man. The Big Payback is coming to Esau Edom, man. It says... Uh, 16, it says, Cut off the sore from Babylon and him that handled the sickle in the time of harvest. So all that you're talking about these farmers, man, they're not going to be able to produce anything, man. These businesses, these businesses are being thrown down, man. They're not going to be able to make any money, man. It says, for, uh, for fear of the oppressing sword, they shall turn every one to his people and they shall flee every one to his own land, man. So a lot of these nations that stay in Babylon the Great, they're gonna be starting to flee off to these other lands, man. But they're gonna see it's not safe here. All these nations are being is being brought up here for destruction, man. So so the Lord is is, is taking all these these nations of people and bringing them here for judgment, man. Like I was saying on the way to camp, they got a, a million got a million a million Palestinians. They're gonna be bringing to uh, America. They're gonna bring another million. On top of all the other millions of, of migrants that just came over to America, man. So the Lord has set this place up to go into martial law, Jacob's trouble. All hell is about to break loose in America, man. And these people don't have a clue. They have no clue that this place is going to be t uh, taken down violently. It says, cut off, cut off the soil from Babylon and him that handled the sickle in the time of harvest for the fear of the oppressive sword. They shall, they shall turn every one to his people and they shall flee every one to his own land. So all the other people that's here and they came from China and India and Russia and wherever they're from, Korea, they're going to start going back to their own land because it's not going to be safe here very soon. It says Israel is a scattered sheep. The lions have driven him away. First, the king of Assyria have devoured them and and the last, and last, this Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, have broken his bones. And that's going into the ancient Babylon, but the point is made, man. These scriptures are written in twofold. What is going to happen in Babylon is going to, what was read was going to happen in Babylon. The ancient Babylon is going to happen in Babylon the Great, man, the daughter of Babylon. Let's get that Ezekiel 38. Thirty-eight. It dropped. Start at uh, start at verse two, and I'll tell you when it dropped. This is Ezekiel thirty-eight, verse two, and it says, "Son of man, set thy face against Gog, and the land of Magog." Magog. Yep, and that's talking about the Russians, man. Go ahead, and Turkey is going to be joined to them as well, as you see. But there are gets the small hatters. Go ahead, in America, the chief prince of Meshach. Meshach and Tubal, and, Tubal uh -huh. and prophesy against him. See that? We're prophesying against them. We're prophesying the World War III, man, which is the Battle of Armageddon. These nations that we're going to read are joining together right now for the Battle of Armageddon. Go ahead. And say, Thus saith Yahweh Bashmin Shah, Most High, Behold, I am against O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. That's Russia. He's against Russia as well, man. We're against Russia as well. We're not for Russia. We for we for all, all these because Russians are Edomites as well. We against all of them, man. But the Lord is telling you who he's gonna use. 
He said, even though he's uh he's using Russia to take down Babylon the Great, he's still against him, man. We're prophesying against all Edomites, man, in every nation. Go ahead. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. See, man, he's putting hooks in their jaw, bringing them back to a warlike nation, man. He's bringing the Russians back to that warlike mindset as they was in the USSR. And you're seeing them, Russia is, 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 is telling these nations how he truly feels about them, man, especially Babylon the Great, man. He's not holding back, they're not holding back their tongues, man. As you see, uh, what's the, uh, the uh, I forgot his, his position over in Russia, and I think his name Megadev or whatever, I don't have you pronounce it. But the first thing he say is, we're gonna shoot missiles on him, man. His first, his mindset is to shoot missiles on Babylon the Great, man. That's the first thing he always says. I'm talking about a Megadev, not Putin, but I can't pronounce his name. I can't remember his name. I think it was Me uh, Meg Dmitry Megadev or some shit like that. But the thing he want to do is shoot missiles. That's the first thing he said, we're going to shoot missiles on you, man. Go ahead. And I will bring thee forth and all thy armies, horses and horsemen, uh -huh. all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company of bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. See that? Yeah, the Lord is telling you he's using all these nations to come against Babylon the Great. The Russians, the Turkish, Iran, uh, North Korea, China. All these nations are going to be joined to Russia. Man. God, go ahead. Persia. Persians, Iranians. Ethiopia. Ethiopia, so, uh, the so called Africans. And Libya, Libya, so-called Africans as well. The northern part of uh, the northern part of of, of uh, the northern part of Africa. All those countries are going to be joined in to them right there in the Middle East, man. And you see that right there stirring up right now, man, because um, the the, uh, the small hatters are getting ready to start an offensive in the land of Gaza, man. So they're going to be going into those lands here very soon and uh, having war over in the Middle East. With them, all of them, with shield and helmet. Yep, see, all their weapons of war, they're going to be taken with them, man. Gomer. Uh, Gomer, is, uh, Gomer is Turkey. And as Turkey just said this week, that they're ready to go against the small hatters, man. And, the, and, and America, man, the U.S. So these nations are getting ready for war. Go ahead. And all his bands. Uh, all, their, all their people that's joined unto them are getting ready for war. The house of... Togoma. Togoma. Uh -huh. Of the North Quarters. Northern Quarters, yep. And all his bands uh -huh. and many people with thee. See, all these nations that's going to be, they've already chosen. They've already chosen who they're going to back in the time of World War Three. Go ahead. Be prepared. Be thou prepared. Uh -huh. And prepare for thyself. Yep. Thou and all thy companies. See, all, all your armies get prepared. And be prepared. Because this is going to happen very soon, man. Go ahead. That are assembled unto thee. Yep. And be thou a guard unto them. See that? And the Lord is telling the Russians to be a guard unto the nations that are going to back them, man. So now, uh, the small hatters, they want to go against Iran. They, they've been provoking them to go to go, go to war, man. Because now you hear that, that name's being brought up more and more. And that's the final world war, man. The, the U.S. is backing the small hatters to go against Iran. And that's what's going to cause thermonuclear weapons to be shot off into the ends of the world, man. This is, this is going to happen, but this is biblical prophecy, man. Biblical prophecy is for the nuclear missiles to be shot over into America, over into Russia, Europe, and all these other nations. Go ahead. Uh, you had something? Uh, yeah, I was just going to say uh, another thing is, I, I'm glad you said that because... I be uh you know everybody go on social media. I be on TikTok, and America's so clueless that they live stream the whole thing over in uh. But that's happening in Europe and stuff. They live stream it like it's a video, like right. it's just something that's just Some not going. Yeah, like it's not going to happen over here. Right. So they just live stream it every single day, telling uh just pe teaching uh letting people know like what's happening. But they live. And that's stream because it like they, they don't they don't believe this, uh, the uh, media anymore. They know the lies that have been taught for many years. And it's been happening, and then they come to find out that they've been tricked. And that's uh, uh, the Iraq war. In the Iraq war, they told them it was weapons of mass destruction that Iraq, uh, uh, Iraq had, and come to find out they never had those weapons, man. So th these Americans are not, they don't want to be duped anymore to believe in a war that, that they should have never fought, man. But the Lord is bringing them into the war, man. It ain't, it ain't that they want to go to war, the Lord is bringing them into the war. 
the bro Lord is bringing these people into the, to the battle of Armageddon, man. That's why these people are going to be drafted, man. All these booty shaking girls is on Instagram, on Facebook, and party every weekend. All these brothers are like to, uh, all these, y'all say niggas, like to smoke weed and get high and shit. The Lord is going to draft them into the World War III, man. And you see that coming very soon, man, because they're not, they're not going to be able to fight a, a, a 10 front war, man. They said, uh, they said a small hat is laying, is, is, is on, on the uh, a cusp of fighting a five, uh, five front war, man. No nation can abstain a five front war, man. You're going to have somebody to back you, man. And America's being stretched so thin, they're going to have to fight probably a 10, uh, a 10 front war, man. With North Korea, South Korea, you got Japan, they're going to have to back them. Shit, they got um, Europe, Germany, all these nations they're going to have to fight against, man. China, Russia. All these nations are going to come again. It's going to be it's going to be so many people fighting against America. They're going to have to draw, uh, draft the people in. Drop down to verse uh, eleven. Verse eleven. This is equal thirty-eight. Verse eleven. And it says, "And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages." Unwalled villages. Oh. So the I'll Lord is bringing them to the land of unwalled villages. And what's the land of unwalled villages? That's America, man. They have no borders, man. People are just coming through the borders like it ain't nothing. This is the land of unwalled villages. Go ahead. And thou shalt say, I will go to the land of unwalled villages. Uh -huh. I will go to them and that are rest at that are at rest mm -hmm. that dwell safely. See that dwell safely, man. America is dwelling safely, man. You ain't got no wars and skirmishes here. They're dwelling safely here, man. So the Lord is telling you, the Lord is for the, the Lord is for to bring these nations against a place that's unwalled, that they dwell in safely with no care, man. You can still go buy you a burger, you can still go to Walmart, you can look at this uh, place right here, you can still go in there and get you some uh some food and uh, different miscellaneous things in the store, man. The people are just driving by having a good day. You can still do these things, man. <laughs> but very soon, the Lord is gonna interrupt everybody's goings and doings, man. And it's not gonna be a time, it's not gonna be a time that you're gonna be able to go and get you a burger or go to Walmart and, and, and buy you a miscellaneous um, shit um, dinner, you know what I'm saying? Or anything you wanna buy, a PS5 or something like that. This, this time is coming that the Lord is gonna cut this place off, man, completely. Go ahead. All of them dwelling without walls and having ne neither, neither bars nor gates. See, that neither bars nor gates, so this place is wide open. Get Proverbs, 30, uh, get Proverbs 6 and 34. Go ahead. To take a spoil. To take a spoil, man. Get that word spoil real quick. Get that word spoil. They're, gonna, they're coming to take a spoil. Proverbs what? Proverbs 6 and 34. And you get that word spoil real quick. What is a spoil? Why are these people coming to take a spoil? What is a spoil? Tell me what a spoil is. You get in the blue, blue light. You get in the blue light. Uh, you get it in the Google real quick. Spoils of war. Put in spoils of war in the, blue, uh, the Google. Diminish or destroy? See that? They're coming to get a spoil to, to what? Diminish, diminish or what? Or so to diminish or destroy. So they're coming to take a spoil. That's to diminish or destroy, man. It says uh, diminish or destroy the uh, value. To destroy the value. So uh, the value of America has already been taken down, man. The dollar is worthless. Uh, this, this is spoiling the blue veteran. It says pray, plunder, or gain. See, they pray, plunder, or gain, man. So the Lord is coming back to bring this place all the way down. It's, they're coming to take a spoil. Go ahead and finish that up. What you got? To take a spoil and to take a prey to thine to thine hand upon thy desolate places that are now inhabited and upon the pe people that are gathered out of the nations which have get gotten cattle and goods that dwell in the midst of the land. So they done rape, rob, and murder all these nations and countries, and they got all their spoils. Now it's time for them to get their spoil on them. 
Where? Let me get that Proverbs. Yeah, get Proverbs with. Let me bite these. This is Proverbs 6 and 34. For jealousy is the rage of a man. See that? Read it again. This is Proverbs 6 and 34. For jealousy is the rage of a man. There, you want me to keep going? No, no, that's it. Okay. See, jealousy is the rage of man. So we're, we're not going to take vengeance on Esau either. The Lord is preparing the judgment for him, man. We're not going to take it. See, see, if we did it, it would be the jealousy of man, man. But the vengeance is going to be taken on Esau Edom by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Let me get this real quick. This is Micah. Hold on, I got some more in here. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. See that? See, a, a man will not spare in the day of vengeance, man. But this is all the Lord's, this is all the Lord's doing, man. The Lord is going to bring this place down, man, violently, man. He's going to take a spoil, and it's all going to be given to the children of Israel, man. Go ahead. That's it. This is Micah 5 and 15. It says, and I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen such as they have not heard. That's plain, man. So the Lord is going to take vengeance. Get that in the, get that in the uh, NLT. So the Lord is going to, I'm going to read that again, man. So... This is plain. It says, this is Micah 15, uh, Micah 5 and 15. It says, and I will and I will execute vengeance in anger and fury upon the heathen. So the Lord is going to bring fury and destruction on the heathen, man. This is, this is plain. It says, and I will execute vengeance in anger and fury upon the heathen such as they have not heard, man. Go ahead. Go this through. is Micah 5 and 15, the NLT, and it says, I will pour out my vengeance on all the nations that refuse to obey me. Play. Get the good, good news translation, too. Drop down a good news right there. So they're not obeying the Lord, man. They're continuing in the wickedness. And it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late for them to come back to the Lord, man. When it never was, the Lord ain't never dealt with them, man. Get Romans 3 and 3. This is Michael 5 and 15 in, in the Good News translation. It says, And in my great anger, I will take revenge, revenge on all the nations that have not obeyed me. Woo! Plain, man. Get that Romans 3 and start at verse 3 down to 6. Uh, oh. For what? Okay, this is Romans 3 verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Mm -hmm. Shall their unbelief make the faith of power within effect? With none effect. So, so what effect. if somebody don't believe we'll be out here preaching? So if they don't believe it, do that mean it's not going to happen? No, it's going to happen. Because the Lord said it is written. We read right of the scriptures, man. We're not making anything up. Nothing is our, our own, out of our own minds. Every answer we're giving you is through the scriptures, man. So if you don't believe... Then it's meant for you not to believe. It's meant for you to be destroyed. It's meant for the wrath of the Lord to come upon you. So we don't we don't care about these people seeing us and laughing and shit. We don't care at all. They supposed to laugh because we're gonna laugh at them very soon. We're gonna laugh at them very soon because the Lord was a proverbs. Get that uh, get that real quick. Proverbs one. I think it's down, down close to the bottom. Read that what you got again. This is Romans 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Con. Shall their unbelief make the faith of power without effect? What? Power forbid. So if they don't believe, is, not, is it not going to happen just because they don't believe? You want me to go to verse 4? Down to 6. Okay, this is verse 4. Power forbid. Yea, let power be true. Yep, see, let the Lord be true. Let this word be true. But every man a liar. And every man a liar. So if you don't you don't believe, you gotta believe what we saying. Look the scriptures up. As, is, as it is written, Shalaki. That thou must mindness be ju uh, justified, down, down. Shalaki. Okay. That thou mightiness be justified. Might in be thy justified. Read that again. Let that, me see where you're at. Where you at? Romans, verse four. Romans 3. 
Yeah. Romans 2, verse 1, let me get there. Let's make sure. It ain't no rush, man. We ain't got to be perfect. You just got to do the work, man. So just take your time. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we being perfect through the word, doing the will, man. We learn it. Continue to learn it, man. So Romans 3 and 4. You want me to start over? Yes, yeah, start over. Start again. This is verse 4. Power forbid. Yea, let power be truth. But every man a liar. See that? Let, every, let, the, what, let, let the word be true and every man a liar that speak out of their own mind, man. This is what we speak. We speak in the words of Yahweh by Shimei Go ahead. As, it, as, is, as, as, it, as is it is written. written yeah. Go ahead. That thy mightiness be justified uh -huh. in thy saying. See that? That we might be justified in our sayings, man. So that's why we speak through the word. We speak through Yahweh by Shimei Awashai's word, not our own mind. Go ahead. And mightiness overcome. When thou art judged. Yep. That we but, might overcome once we are judged. So we did the work, man. To the Lord to look at us and be like, yeah, you did the work, man. You did the work, man. Romans 3, verse 5. But if our unrighteousness commanded the right, righteousness of power. So if we make a mistake and we say, you know what I'm saying, speak out of, speak out of our own mouth and say something. We also are, are prophesying just by the things we say, man. You might stumble up and you might say something incorrectly, but it's still prophesying the right word because it's all in the spirit and power you have by Shimei Al Shah. Not telling you something way off, but it might be it might be a slip of the tongue. And somebody might say something and it, and it ain't wicked. You just say speak it in the spirit, man. And sometimes you stumble over your words, you might misread a word, you might over over uh uh might be reading the scripture, and you might skip a sentence or skip a line or something, man. But it still don't mean that we are, we are wicked because we're doing that, man. We're still speaking in righteousness, man, because we're prophesying the, Lord, the Lord's coming and the Lord's word. Go ahead. Okay. What shall we say? Is power unrighteous who See? taketh vengeance? See that? Do, 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 so the power of righteousness taketh vengeance? Go ahead. That's it. That was six? Yeah. Oh, this is six. Yeah. Power forbid. Oh, that's it. No, no. That was verse five. Right, three, five again says, but if our, oh, I'll read. It okay. says, but if our unrighteousness Command the righteousness of power. What shall we say? Is power unrighteous? Who take a vengeance? No, the Lord ain't unrighteous to take vengeance, man. But he said the vengeance is his, man. So the Lord is gonna take vengeance, man. Read six. This is verse six. Power forbid. For then how uh, hold on, how hold on, shall I didn't power. skip that part. He says, I speak as a man. See, the uh, apostle Paul was speaking as a man as he said that, man. We speak, we speak without the scriptures. It's all still through the spirit of God we have by Shem Al Shah. But we, we stay on we stay on, 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 on this uh, key of this word, man. We don't speak anything out of our mind. So we might tell you something out of the scriptures, out of our own mind, but it's according to the scriptures, man. We ain't telling you words that's it's not, uh, not speaking it out. Uh, speaking about the word. See what I'm saying? So you got some people that they might not even know they're speaking a scripture, but actually be speaking a scripture, man. That's why Apostle Paul said, I speak as a man. Go ahead. This is Romans 3, verse 6. Power forbid, for then how shall power judge the world? See that? So if the vengeance of the Lord ain't coming, and the Lord is, is unrighteous, how is he going to judge the world, man? So what we're telling you and speaking to you is exactly what the Lord said is going to happen, man. There's no way around it. There's no other way around that, man. This is um, what I wanted to get. Isaiah, Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. Slug, let me get there. That scripture going to the uh, that scripture going to that movie uh, Superman versus Batman when uh, Bat uh, Lex Luthor was talking to Superman, saying that uh, if the power did not judge the world, then he wouldn't be a power. Huh, that's true, that's, that's true. That, and, that, and that's what he's speaking, like he said, I speak as a man, son, because you can say something and not know it be scriptural. Because you got so you got a lot of people that uh, uh, got a, a spirit of your how about Shimmy out shot, man. Like you might be saying somebody home, like it was a, it was a brother uh, that br brought that video out, um, Azana Mock. Azana Mock is a good brother, man. Y'all need to follow, you need to follow Azana Mock, man. He brings a lot of heavy information, man. And very edifying uh, information, man. Edifying lessons as well. But he had a he had a, a guy on his video, and the guy was a uh, homeless man. And she and it was on a moth was bringing out that he it might have been an angel, man. You entertaining, unaware, man. So you might have men that, that speak to you, man, giving you knowledge and wisdom, 
that you might not say, well, they ain't speaking out the scriptures, man, but it might be all spiritual through your how about Shimmy Al Shah, man. But the scriptures do say we're going to entertain angels unaware, man. So you might run into a brother that's speaking good knowledge, man, but it, it, it ain't according to what he's saying. But you can just tell by his spirit if he's, if he's wicked or, you know what I'm saying, if he's wicked or not, man. Because we're going to speak things not as in the scriptural, but it's not scriptural, but it's in the scriptures, man. So, you know what I'm saying, if that makes sense to you, 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 you understand it, man. If it, it ain't too, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, all over the place, in other words. But a lot of, a lot of things, Apostle Har and Apostle Gabar and Apostle Ramla, they say that they ain't necessarily right in the scriptures, but it's scripturally. And that's what, exactly what Apostle Paul was saying, man. A lot of things, I, I don't learn a lot of from the elders and apostles, they say it. And um, without even being in the scriptures, I was like, man, that make a lot of sense, man. And, and that goes with wisdom, man. You know, that goes with wisdom in the spirit of the Lord dwelling in them, man, that he can bring out stuff that not necessarily scripturally, you can just read the word for word, but it's in the scriptures because the um, the scriptures are, are pertaining to what they're speaking about. This is Isaiah 61 in verse 1. It says, the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai is upon me. See that? It's upon all the brothers, man, that speaking this word, man, that continue to dwell in the, in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. It says, the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai is upon me because Yahweh by Shem Shai have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the the open the pri an opening of the prison, man. And so that's what we're doing to you Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. We're telling you, you got great things coming to you if you repent, man. You have great things coming to you, man, because you're a prisoner in your mind. Your mind is a prison, man. Esau can control everything you think and everything you see, and you'll think it's, it's real, man. So that prison of your mind, we give it to you through the scriptures, man, opening your mind up to what is reality. <clears throat> what we see is not reality, man. It's all an illusion, man. It's everything you see in Esau's kingdom is illusion, man. Even the foods we eat. You know what I'm saying? You might think when well, you got a good juicy steak and, and it turned out to be a goddamn uh, lab grown steak, man. Lab grown chicken, man. Everything we is, is in this kingdom right here is an illusion, man. Even even I just brought out a, uh, well, I just posted a video of over in the small Hatter's land that there, they set them people up to shoot firecrackers on them, man. And I had up and I have people around the world thinking that they're being attacked, man. So all this shit is an illusion, man. Everything, even to the money. The money is not real. We have monopoly money, man. It's all an illusion, man, to make you think, well, I'm higher than them, I'm higher than them, I'm higher than him, I got this amount of money, I got more money than them. All that shit is fake, man. The money system is fake, man. Even the women, the women are fake, man. Fake boobs and fake, fake asses, man. It's all an illusion, man, to make people higher than what they are. And that's how, the, that's how Esau set it up like that, man. We have to be humble, and that's the, that's the spirit of the Lord. He brought us to be humble, man. He wants us to be humble to know that he is in control. He is doing this, man, not of our own. We, we, ain't nothing we can control, man. Nothing we can control. Nothing is of our own. We all are in the hands of Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. And once you are humble enough to understand you are nobody, and you understand that what we living in is all fake, it's all meant for you to be distracted from Yahweh by Shem Shai, this word, man. So that's why we coming out here in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai to preach unto the captives, man. You are in prison in your mind. Going to church is a prison, man. You go to church every Sunday, you thinking you are doing something for the Lord. In, in, in all truth and sincerity, you are absolutely against the Lord when you go to church, man. And that's all through the spirit, but you're against the Lord because the Lord didn't set us up to go and worship a so-called white man, man. He didn't set us up to go worship a so-called white man, Cesar Bourgeois, who you call Jesus Christ, man. The Lord's name was never Jesus, man. They never called him Jesus. So it, it, it's, it's everything, like I said, everything we have here in Babylon the Great is an illusion, man. We're, we're going to get back to reality when we get in the kingdom of heaven, man, how things are really are. And that's why the people are always trying to escape reality, man. That's why drugs, alcohol are at a, a so-called high rate, man. And these people killing each other, man, because they're living in an illusion. They believe whatever, whatever has been taught to them or shown to them, they believe it, man. That's why our people are killing each other before they kill the so-called white men or any nation, man. They won't kill their own, they won't kill the other people, man, because they've been trained to live in this illusion, man, this prison of their mind. 
And that's what we can come out here and preach to break that, man. To break you out of the chains of darkness of your mind, man. Get uh, get uh, Isaiah 60 and verse uh, 1. Let me finish this up. This is Isaiah 61 and verse uh, verse 1 again. It says, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh power is upon me because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, man. And our people are bound. Get that word bound real quick in the blue letter. Bound. And look it up in Google. What are y'all looking up in Blue Letter? What are y'all looking up in Google? What is This is uh, Isaiah 61 and verse 1. We're going to get that word bound, man, because our people are bound, man. They're in prison, man. They're, 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 they, they got a yoke of iron still up on their minds, man. We are not in physical chains, but we are in mental chains. Because these people, our people are lost, man. They think we crazy because we come out here and what they call uh uh our ancient you know claim our ancient garments man and they looking at us like we crazy we're looking at you because you're crazy because your prison of your mind it has you in this illusion that you're you're living a good life man go ahead if you this got is it bound in the blue letter and it says to tie bind or imprison see to tie bind or imprison man you're still in prison man our people have no clue that they're in prison of their minds. You got it in Google? Uh, yeah. It says, walk or run with leaping strides. Bound? Yeah. That's what it says. Blue letter's good. We just, we, that's, that's, the, that's the definition we wanted anyway. I just yeah. want to see what it said in the blue letter. Okay. This is uh, verse 61 and 2. It says, to proclaim the acceptable year of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn, man. So we're proclaiming the day of our Lord, man. We're proclaiming the return of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. Because the Lord is going to take vengeance, man, as this world has never seen, man. Like we, I just read in Micah 5 15, it's going to come on you as you have never seen before, man. And you think Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed? Wait till the Lord come back this time. <laughs> you think, you know what I'm saying? Everybody look back at Sodom and Gomorrah. That's going to be, man, that's going to be like. <laughs> It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be like a goddamn sandcastle. The sandcastle compared to a, a brick house, man, right. when the Lord come back. And and, and that's where uh, Sodom and Gomorrah is. The land is a sandcastle now. But wait till the Lord come back with this instruction, man, because the Lord is pissed, man. He's been gone for two days, man, and he's seen what happened just in two days, man. Just imagine when the Lord come back, man. Whew. Let me read two again, man. Get that in the new, get that in the uh, the Good News translation real quick. 61, 61 in verse 2. It says, to proclaim the acceptable year of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And Lord willing, he come in 2024, man. Lord willing, you know what I'm saying? The Lord put the spirit on Pastor Har to proclaim this year as all, all the uh, prophecies being fulfilled. And you can't tell me almost every prophecy that is written in the scriptures ain't fulfilled by um, yet. Every if they if they ain't fulfilled, they on the table. They days away, months away, if that. So the Lord has is, is, is got a heavy spirit on our apostles and elders, man. Because who 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 would have foreseen that that the, all the prophecies being fulfilled if the Lord wasn't dealing with you, man? So that's heavy, man. That's heavy that the Lord put the spirit on apostles of heart to uh, to proclaim this year and all the uh, all the prophecies being fulfilled, man. Go ahead. Uh, this is Isaiah 61, verse 2. In the Good News translation, it says, He has sent me to proclaim mm -hmm. that the time has come mm -hmm. when Yahweh Shinyahushah will save his people and defeat their enemies. Mm -hmm. He has sent me to comfort all who mourn. Woo! See, that's us, man. All that mourn. He sent that to us, man. The scriptures, man. Get the Good News translation. This is good. Good News translation? Yeah. Get, uh, get the NLT. That was, that was fire, man. This is the, the NLT, and it says, He has sent me to tell those who mourn that the time of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah favor has come, and with it 
the day of Most High's anger against the, their enemies. See that? Against our enemies, man. So we don't have to do anything, man. Get Romans uh, 12 and 19. This is uh, Isaiah 60 and verse 1. It says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of Yahweh by Shimei Shah is risen upon thee. So the glory of the Lord is risen upon the hopeful elect, man. You blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans that believe and have faith in Yahweh by Shimei Shah, the Spirit of the Lord is risen upon us. The men of the Lord that go on the highways and byways, preach these lessons, bring our information to feed the flock, man, of Yahweh by Shimei Shah, man. So the Spirit of the Lord has come upon us, man. And we're doing exactly what the Lord proclaimed us to do, man. He says, For behold, uh, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. So these people are walking around in gross darkness, not knowing that this place is going to be in World War III. Thermonuclear destruction, man. They are clueless, man. They're in gross darkness. But they look at us like we're dark. This place is going to be utterly destroyed, man. These people don't have a clue that it's coming, man. They don't ever think it's going to happen, man. They have no clue that this place is slated for destruction, man. The Lord is rigged. And the Lord's word is, is, is undoubtedly the truth, man. It says, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But Yahweh by Shimei Oshah shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. So the glory of the Lord is being seen upon the men of the Lord, man. That prophesy on the highways and byways and make these lessons, man. The glory of the Lord is being seen on us, man. The people, they, they, you might think, well, they ain't looking at us, they ain't uh, listening to us, but they're actually listening to us, man. Because they're going to see very soon that the men of the Lord was on the highways and byways prophesying these things to come. And when they come, they're going to seek the men of the Lord and, when, uh, and, and wonder why that these things are happening, man. But it's going to be too late, man. The Lord is going to make the men of the Lord uh, tongue cleave to the roof of their mouth that they're not going to be able to prophesy anything. So if you if you believe in this truth, like I said, you blacks, Hispanic, and Native American, you believe in this truth, and you have faith in Yahweh by Shimei Shah, you are in good case, man. Because the Lord has made you to witness of him of his return. It says, verse 3. Verse 3, it says, And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and the kings to the brightness of thy rising, man. So they're going to soon come to us and try to seek this word, man. But it's going to be too late, man. If you ain't got it by now, more than likely the Lord ain't got you slated to get it. Because if you did get it, and you believe, especially you in this area, and this is Nashville, man, and you believe in this area, you should be out here with us, man, prophesying the return of our Lord, man. If you are faithless in your how about Shimei Shah, you'll be doing what we're doing. You'll be, you'll be uh, begging your lessons, man. This right here is not a lukewarm thing, man, because the Lord said he's going to spew you out of your mouth. He's going to spew you out of his mouth, man. And I, I, I've always feared being lukewarm, man. So I always try to do everything I possibly can to stay on fire, man. I, I never wanted to be lukewarm. I heard that scripture right there. I wanted to make sure I did everything I possibly could to make sure the Lord said that I was worthy to be saved as his destruction is coming, man. So if you, like I said, if you're in this area, man, you, you believe and have faith in y'all by Shimmy Al Shah, you should be out here with us, man. And not necessarily you gotta be with us, man. You start your own camp, man. You know what I'm saying? To preach the correct doctrine of your how about Shimmy Al Shah through the man of the Lord, man. Great Billstone, man. You should, you should be out here doing this, man, because this is undoubtedly the truth, and we are at the time of the end. So the Lord is not playing, man. Get that what you got. This is Romans 12, verse 19. Dearly beloved, huh? avenge not yourselves. See that? We don't take vengeance, man. The Lord is going to take vengeance on our, on our enemies. Go ahead. But rather give place unto wrath. See, give place unto wrath. Give your give place to your how about Shimei Al Shah, man, because he's coming with wrath, man. Only thing we got to do is prophesy the return of our Lord and Savior, how about Shimei Al Shah. Not Jesus, Cesar Borzer, the so called white man. He's not written in the scriptures, man. The so called white man put his name in the scriptures to, to deceive the people, man, because he wanted you to believe in him. That's why you get on your knees and pray. The Lord told us to stand up and pray and face our holy land, man, when we was taken away from in captivity, man, when we came over in cargo slave ships. The Lord wasn't meant for us to kneel on our knees and pray to the Lord. That's, that's not in the scriptures, man. We are supposed to have our hands spread wide, facing the east, the holy land, and prophesy that way, man, to our holy land, man. That's in, uh, I think it's uh, Second Chronicles, man. I do a lesson, Lord willing, this week on that, man, about praying. Go ahead. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. See that vengeance is the Lord. I will repay.
repay, say it, y'all about See, the side. Lord says he's going to repay, not us. We're going to continue to do the work, man. The Lord is going to take vengeance. Get Isaiah uh, 47, start at verse 1. Isaiah 47. Isaiah 47 and verse 1. This is Isaiah first Isaiah 47 verse 1 and it says come down and sit on in the dust O virgin daughter of Babylon mm -hmm. sit on the ground there is no throne mm -hmm. O daughter of the Chaldeans uh -huh. for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate so then you're not going to be called tender and delicate no more take the millstones and grind meal uh -huh. uncover thy locks and Bear the leg. Yep. So the Lord is is is, is wiping, is taking all the all the glory of this place down, man. Go ahead. Uncover the thighs. Uh huh. Pass over the rivers. Uh huh. Thy nakedness shall be shown. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. Uh huh. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. See, the Lord is taking is going to take vengeance on Esau Edom, man. He's going to take vengeance on them, man. And that's because of what they did to the children of Israel. So the Lord is stripping this place bare right before our eyes, man. And then I gotta get this, get this real quick. Isaiah 63. This is Isaiah 63, and I'm gonna start at verse 1 because this is the Lord returning, man. When he just read, the Lord said he's gonna come with vengeance, man. He's not gonna beat these people as a man. The Lord is coming down with chariots. And what they call the UFOs, they're coming down with angels, man. Thousands upon thousands of angels, man. In an angelical body, man. This is Isaiah 63, in verse 1, it says, Who is this that coming from Edom? That's the first one on this list, man. Edom. So-called white man. The, the, um, the Edomites. It says, Who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? And that's the, that's the uh, ancient land of Esau Edom, man, the so-called white man in the land of um, Mount Seir. It says that was, a, that was a capital over there in Mount, Mount Seir. As they see now, is in Jordan. It says, this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the, in the strength, in the greatness of his strength, I speak that, I said, like, I, said I speak in righteousness, mighty to save, man. And that's talking about Yahweh Shai, man. He's coming back mighty to save. No other person is coming back mighty to save. It's talking about Yahweh Bashim Yashah coming back mighty to save, man. It says, wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? So the Lord gonna come back, this is speaking uh, parabolically as it's really gonna be on, the blood is not gonna be on the Lord, man. He's speaking as he's gonna do it in a parabolically. Look at word a parabolically. If I pronounce that correct, a parabolically. It says, he said, Wherefore are thy red in thy apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? So in the ancient world, when they used grapes, they stomped them out, man. So the Lord gonna stomp out these, these, these heathen, starting with the so-called white man, the Edomites, man. It's parabolic. It says parabolically in Google, it says expressed by or being a parable. Spar uh, read it again. Expressed by or being a parable. See, a, a, a parable. See, a parable is like a metaphor. Speaking like a metaphor, man. So the Lord is not going to have actual blood on his on his on his garment. He's speaking like in a parable, man, in a, in a metaphor. Like, and that goes to show you that Yahweh Shai is the ultimate Jake because what did I, what did the rappers use? They used a lot of parable, uh, like a lot of uh, metaphors, man. Lil Wayne was good for having per, uh, uh, metaphors and stuff in his raps, man. He can, he can put in your mindset of what, he, what he's going to do, but he's not going to actually do it, man. And the Lord is going to actually do this, but he's, he's giving you a parable or a metaphor on the way that, the way the Lord is going to stomp these people out. He says, wherefore are, thy wine, wherefore are thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? And he's giving you a, a sense of him stomping out grapes in a, in a wine press, in a wine press. He says, I have tried the wine press alone. See that? The Lord said he's telling you that no other God is going to stop him from what he's doing, man. No God, no, no Edomite God, none of these, none of these people call on is going to stop the Lord from stopping these people out, man. He said, I have tried the wine, fat, uh, wine press alone and of, my, of the people 
there was none with me. See that? There's no other God going to stop. It's not going to be a, a, a great galactical war in the heavens. The Lord is telling you coming back straight punishing people, man. And that's beautiful, man. The Lord is coming back to punish these people, man, severely. It ain't going to be a, a Esau thing when he got a space force. Man, y'all ain't got shit compared to what the Lord coming back with, man. <laughs> I can't even believe them motherfuckers even will try to come against you. How about shooting outside? I got a preset for that. Go ahead, you bring it out. For thou shalt worship Just no other power. Oh, hold on, Slaki. This is Ezekiel 34 and 14. For thou shalt worship no other power. Uh -huh. For for the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Al Shah, who's na who is named a jealous power. Well, See, he's a jealous power. Slow down. Yeah, Slaki. Slaki. <laughs> let, let, let me start over. Let me start over. Let me start over. I'll breathe too fast. Let me slow down. Ezekiel 34 and 14. For thou shalt worship no other power. For I am Yahweh Shimei Al Shah. Is a who jealous. is a jealous power. Uh, God. Yeah, so you shouldn't worship no other power, man, because the Lord is a jealous power. He is the one that's coming back with a fury, man. And, and, and he's gonna try these people down in great violence, man. This is uh verse three again. This is uh, Isaiah 63 and verse 3. It says, I have tried the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in my anger, and I will trample them in my fury. And and their blood shall be sprinkled upon all, sprinkled upon my garment, and I will slay. And it's like, let me slow down my damn self. Mm -hmm. Verse three again. He says, "I have tried the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in my anger, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled." Their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garment, and I will and I will stain all my raiment, man. So the Lord telling you is coming back with great violence, man. Great violence, man. So the Lord telling you it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be so much death and destruction when he comes. It's, it's gonna look like the Lord is staining his stuff because it's gonna be so much blood everywhere, man. He says, For the day of vengeance is in my heart. See that? The Lord's vengeance is in his heart, man. He's coming back with great judgment on the earth. And that's in his mind, man. See, he, he, <laughs> I can't imagine how the Lord thinking right now, man. But he said the vengeance is in his heart, man. It's in his mind, man. What are you going to do, man? I, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I always think, think I'm just speaking as a man. I'll be thinking the Lord is like, man, I, I don't, he don't know what he's going to judge first, man. Who are we going to punish first, man? That's why I just be thinking like, man, the Lord, man, should I go over here first so I do that? You know, we, it's already written where he's he going to come in from the east. But I just be thinking like, man, the Lord just be like, man, I'm gonna punish him. I can't wait to punish him on over this side. I can't punish. I can't wait to punish the Russians, man. I can't wait to punish the Chinese. But when I come to Babylon the Great, boy, it's gonna be over with. You know what I'm saying? You know how we be hyped yeah. when we see a fight or somebody get knocked out or something, man. Right. And the angels, I mean, I'm, I'm just speaking as a man. You know, the angels probably up there. Yeah, yeah, how we shall we go? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's on something else. But you know what I'm saying? You know, just just playing around with it. But uh, this is verse four, Isaiah 4, uh, 63, verse four, it says, for the vengeance, so like it, for, the, for the day of vengeance is in my heart and a year of my redeem is come. And I looked and there was none to help. Ooh. So nobody's gonna help these Edomites, man. Nobody's gonna help them, man. And that's the reason why the, it's the Lord said, let me take care of that, man. The vengeance is mine, man. Get back, y'all get back. The vengeance is mine, <laughs> man. Tell them the angels, man, y'all get back, man. The vengeance is mine, could, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord got to get his back. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. They touched the Lord, man. They got the Lord got to get his back, man. But I, I just had a spirit of thinking the Lord is holding everybody back. I'm first, man. I got to get him first. I you know so, what I'm saying? So. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? God, God. It says, and I looked, and there was none to help. Ooh, that's heavy right there, Lord. Get that in the good news. It says, this is uh, Isaiah 63 and verse 5. It says, and I looked, and there was none to help. And I wondered that there was none to uphold, man. So the Lord ain't gonna have no competition. No, nobody's gonna stop the Lord from bringing vengeance, man. It says, there, there, therefore, my own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury it upheld me. So the Lord is telling you, man, what are you gonna have pleasure in destroying these people, man? He said his own arm gave him salvation. Just like Christopher Columbus said, 
he uh he couldn't he couldn't put down a sword for one hour, man, from uh, from killing the Native American Indians, man. He said he couldn't put a sword down for one hour, man, because he he just all he thought about was blood, killing. Go ahead, get that into the good news. Uh, I tell you what, six three verse five. This is Isaiah six three verse five, and it says, in the good news translation. That's fine. Let me finish this up. Verse six, he says, and I and I will tread them. I will tread them down. Slock it. And I will tread down the people in my anger, and my and make them drunk in my fury, and I will bring down their strongholds to the earth, man. And that's why you see uh, America got a space force, man. They, they got a space force to fight the angelical powers when they come, man. They made a they made a space force to fight against the angels, man. What they call UFOs, them are not UFOs, man. They're not little green men that's coming down, man. Those are the angels, man. And they're appearing everywhere around the globe, man. You see angels appear, man. And they're thinking of UFOs, man. But Esau, the so-called white man and the elite of Esau, they know that the Lord is in those, you know, they know the Lord traveling what they call UFOs, man. They've been appearing on the earth for many, many years, man. Go ahead. This is Isaiah 63, verse 5, in a good news translation, it says, I was amazed when I looked and saw that there was no one to help me, but mm -hmm. my anger made me strong, Woo. and I won the victory myself. Woo! So the Lord won the victory himself, man. That's a beautiful thing, man. So when the Lord come and crack those clouds, when they see a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah come down, when he come out of those clouds on a so-called UFO, they, these people are going to be astonished, man. They thought the so-called black people and Puerto Rican people and, and Native American Indians here were just, just regular old niggas or whatever they call us, man. They're going to see that those people are the chosen people from the beginning, man, that was came here in cargo slave ships, man. Those are the chosen people of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Those are the Israelites that the Bible spoke of. Get this real quick. Look at Psalms 58 and verse 10. You get this real quick. Isaiah 34 and 6 through 8. And I get Deuteronomy. 32. So Isaiah 60, 38? Uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 60, 60, uh, no, Isaiah 34, 6 through 8. And you get uh, Psalms 58, verse 10. I got it. Go ahead. In Psalms 58, verse 10, it says, The righteous shall rejoice. To the righteous, the men of the Lord. Go ahead. When he seeth the vengeance. See, when he see the vengeance. See, when we see the Lord's vengeance upon the earth. We want to know that we've done the right thing, man, because the Lord prophesied for it to come, man. This ain't nothing we make it up. This is right out of the Holy Bible, man. Go ahead. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. See that? The Lord is going to wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, man. And that's what's coming. The Lord's vengeance on the earth. This is prophesied to come. And we're telling you right out of the Bible, the Lord is coming back for vengeance, man. And no one is going to be spared. No one is going to be shown mercy. If you're not a part of the hopeful elect of the blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. If your, if your name ain't on this tribe, don't always expect mercy from you. How about Shim Yahweh Shai, man? That's Esau's slogan, man. The NWO, his slogan is I expect no mercy, man. And that's what he's going to get. What he what he says is going to happen to other people is what he's going to get, man. He's going to get that double cup. He's going to drink it all the way down, man, all the way to the dregs, man. Go ahead. Isaiah 34 and 6. This is Isaiah 34 and 6. The the sword of Yahweh Shem Yahushai is filled with blood. See that the sword of the Lord is filled with blood, man. Go ahead. And that's those missiles, man. When the, when the Lord has those missiles shot from, from Russia and China to America, and America shooting their missiles off, that's going to be the blood of the Lord, man. That's the sword, the Lord's sword, man. Go ahead. It is made with fat, with fat. Look at that. So like you. It is made fat in fatness. Yep. And with blood of lambs and goats. That's a sacrifice the Lord is speaking of. See, America is being set up for a sacrifice. That's why all these nations are bringing all the migrants up here. They, um, America's going to bring a billion Palestinians over to America. This place is being set up for a great sacrifice because the Lord requires blood, man. That's in uh, numbers, man. The Lord is requiring blood. Let me see if I can find that real quick. See if you can find that real quick. Um, uh, I think it's number six, but it says the Lord requires blood. Keep it fine. Go ahead. You want to keep going on that? Yeah, keep going. Down to eight. With the fat 
Slaki. With the fat of kindness of rams. For Yahweh al Shai has sacrificed in Basra. See, the Lord has a sacrifice in Basra. He's talking about America, man. In the great slaughter. In, in the great land. slaughter, man. That's what's coming, man. Great slaughter. In the land of Idumia. In the land of Idumia. It's telling you it's the Edomites, man. The Lord has a great sacrifice in the land of Idumia. That's that's a, that's a Greek for uh, for Esau Edom. So the Lord has a great sacrifice is coming to America, man. Verse seven: And the unicorn shall come down with that's him. The satellites and the bullocks with the bull bulls. Yep. All the all the uh, the witchcraft and shit that they they proclaim is going to come down with them, man. All the shit they all the satellites, all the different technology that they have. I'm gonna keep going on this. And their land shall be, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. No, that ain't it's in numbers. Go ahead. For it is the day of the Habashimi al Shah's vengeance, and the year of recompense for the controversy, controversy. Of Zion. See, that's for the controversy for the children of Israel, man. All these things are happening in the earth because of the blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. The Lord is stirring this place up, man, because of us. That's because of the controversy of Zion. That's the reason why the Lord is bringing all hell up on the earth, man. And America's going to be the, 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 the soaking pot. Of, I mean, it's going to be the pot of it all, man. Everything is stirred up here, man, because we was brought here in cargo slave ships and we was mistreated and abused in America, man. So the Lord is going to judge America because of what they did to the blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. The Lord, you said. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to judge America for what they did to the blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans here in America, man. Right, right. Bring up what you had. Oh, no, no, I had. I was no. looking for the scripture. Numbers 33, 5, and 33. Well, numbers 33 what? 35 and 33. 35, I sound like it's here. I know it was in numbers. It says, so ye shall not pollute the land yeah go ahead and read that this is call it read this is this is numbers 35 verse 33 and it says so ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are for blood and for for blood it defiled this yeah the blood the defiled land. the land yeah see america we so much blood is soaked up in this land the lord is going to judge them for that man for what they shed, shed the innocent they shed the innocent blood of you blacks hispanic and native americans go ahead and the land cannot be cleansed out of, of the blood that is shed therein, uh -huh. but by the blood of him that shed. See that? So they got to, that blood is going to be shed for us, man. So the Lord requires a sacrifice. We just read in Isaiah 34, man. The blood, the blood is is um, preparing this place for a great sacrifice, man. So the blood, it came, the, the, this land is defiled with the blood of the blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. So the Lord is going to judge this place for what they did to us, man. Read that one more time. I'll read. This is Numbers 35 and 33. It says, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood it defileth the land, man. And so much blood is defiled of, of the blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans to this very day, man. There's a lot of blood in this land because of us, man. But what they've done to us. It says, And the land cannot be cleansed. See, this place cannot be cleansed. Until the blood of those that done that to us be their blood to be shed, man. You blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. It says, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So their blood has to be shed, man. That's the great sacrifice we read about in Isaiah 63. Not 63, Isaiah 34, about the blood that they're gonna they're gonna uh is gonna be shed, man. It says, defile therefore, defile not therefore the land which ye shall inhabit, therein I dwell, for Yahweh Yahweh by Shimei Al Shah dwell among the children of Israel, man. So the Lord has always been around the you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. The Lord has always been around us, man, because his eyes are always upon us, man. We are the chosen of all the people on earth, man. You blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans make, make up this tribe right here, man. This is uh, this is Deuteronomy 32, and uh, starting at verse 36, it says, 
for you how about shimmy al shah shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants see our people are going to be judged as well man because they haven't repented and returned to the lord man they're still caught on the so-called white man jesus christ man that's not in the scriptures man that was made up they made that, that image up they made him up to be a savior to them that's their savior man it says for you how about shimmy al-shah shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants when he see them that their power is gone and there is none shut up or left so the lord is bringing esau edom down strategically man he's bringing them down strategically he says and he shall say where are the gods <laughs> so the lord is breaking them down he's gonna mock them man when he come back in those angelical bodies man he cracked me clouds man it's gloomy today man it's very gloomy man so when the lord cracked those clouds man he gonna he gonna where, where, where to fight at man because they ain't gonna want to fight he gonna put a spirit on them to fight man they gonna he gonna like where where, where, where y'all power at man because he said there was no god with him 37 again deuteronomy 32 verse 37 it says and he shall say where are their gods their rock in whom he, they trusted and let's talk about the let's talk about the children of israel man because they didn't believe but esau eat them as well man this time man they ain't gonna have no power to help them he says verse 38 he says which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drink the wine of their drink offerings let them rise and help you and and be your protection so the lord is going to mock esau edom man it's, like i said it's talking about the children of israel in a time of their calamity man but these times is coming up on esau edom man where your god is where your god is going to be in the time of the lord's destruction man because the lord got a great sacrifice for you you sacrifice all these these uh, i ain't gonna say it on camera but these little ones i would say because youtube are flagging shit man all these little, little babies and shit come up missing and shit, man. <clears throat> they drinking uh, adrenochrome and all that shit. All the sacrifices you made to your gods, where are they going to be at now, man? You done came into the, the lot of the children of Israel, man. Verse 38 again, it says, Which did eat the fat of your sacrifices, of their sacrifices, and drank the wine of their drink offerings. Let them rise and help you and be your protection. Seeing now that I even I am he and there is no power with me. I I kill and I make alive. See that? The Lord kill and he make alive, man. So if you if you're on this 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 uh chart, man, front or back, if the Lord is meant for you to be put to death, that's what's gonna happen to you, man. The Lord kill and he make alive. Let me read that again. This is uh Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, seeing now that I even I am he. And there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand, man. So the Lord telling you, man, no one can save you out of the hand of your house by Shimmy Al Shah, man. Nobody, man. So we're going to end it there, man. Lord, when it was edifying, you got one? Uh, last one. Just get, we'll get one more. Um, Matthew 3 and 2. Yeah. This is, Matthew, this is Matthew 3, verse 2, and it says, And saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. See that? Repent, you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. The time is at hand, man. The World War Three is on the table, man. And there's no getting out of that, man, because I just read it, Deuteronomy 32 and 39, man. The Lord is in control of everything, man. He's going to kill. He's going to make a lie, man. So we have nothing to fear, man. All we have to do is fear your howl by Shimmy I was shot, man. And that's it. We're gonna face the east, we're gonna end it. Start with our, our Lord and Savior. Call all Yim. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Yahweh Kakwa Dash. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Bill Stone, and a Bob Babal. Shalom. Shalom.